All right, let's try this and see if this will be better. I'm going to wait and see for just a moment. And let's see here. I tried it on my computer, but it didn't come very good. So I guess the uh, our service today is not doing real well. So let me wait and see if anybody comes on. And give it a second. And we'll go live here in just a moment. Let us see. And I'm not sure if it is or it's not. Service is horrible right now. All righty. Yeah, it's looking good. There we go. Let me see here. All right. I think we're better. I think we're better. So I'm kind of watching online so I can see how clear the video is. Looks like we've got good video now. So we'll get to praying here in just a second. I know some of y'all are on and not. And uh, I did try it on my computer, like I said, but for some reason, it simply um, uh, was not transferring out. It wasn't sending a signal. Um, so I'm going to try this again. All right, this is, uh, I'm not sure what day we're in, but uh, I just want to take a few minutes and give you one more word, another word um, that we've been looking at. If you've been watching these, um, we've been looking at... Um, these uh, the names of God at, based out of the Old Testament and uh, no difference today so this one here is going to be a fun one and I uh, hope you guys will watch this later share it with your friends let everybody know about it uh, but I won't take very long somebody's online now with me uh, give me a thumbs up if you can hear me if it looks good um, and then we're going to go right into this so the word today uh, that we're going to deal with first of all let's not forget man gather with everybody on Sunday morning, 1045, we will start the live stream five minutes early, five minutes early, um, so that you guys can see the countdown, get everything set up, uh, working on the message notes right now and should have them out. If not today, we'll have those YouTube video notes by tomorrow and I'll share the link right here uh, on, fa on, on our Facebook main page. So if you need the notes from Uversion Bible app, then let me know, all right? Uh, by the way, if you're here, kind of give us a shout out right there down in the comments. Let us know you're, you're here um, as we get ready to start. All right, yesterday we talked about, uh, what was it? The Lord that heals my kapha, Jehovah Rapha. Today, real quick, I don't want to take a lot of your time. I know many of y'all can be outside playing, having a great time. Hopefully you guys are surviving uh, this, uh, this, um, this locked in here, man, on the shut-in. It's weird, man. I mean, I'm... Uh, kind of rocking around like, uh, you know, hey, I need to find something to do. But anyhow, so on the word here, uh, we're going to look at a new word today, and it is called uh, Jehovah Sidkenu. Sidkenu. It's actually spelled in the, uh, in the uh, description of this message. Uh, go ahead and, and take a look at that, Jehovah Sidkenu. Uh, it's actually T-S-I-D-K-E-N-U. This is an amazing word, especially since we're studying the book of uh, Ephesians. Hey, let me know. Did you guys uh, did you guys read the um, the first book chapter of Ephesians today? If not, go ahead and read it. And get it down so that when we join together on Sunday, you guys are already be ahead of the game. I'm only going to be preaching on verses one, Ephesians one, verses one through about thirteen. Maybe not even get to there, but uh, you want to join me for that. So let's look at this word, Jehovah. Sid canoe, and what it means is this is an amazing word. It means the Lord our righteousness. The Lord our righteousness. That means that He is our righteousness. The word righteousness means to be approved by God or to be in right standing with God, as some people like to say. I love this because the Bible says in the book of Isaiah 46 and 6, it says that our righteousness, in other words, our way of trying to make ourselves approved by God, following all the rules, doing all the right thing, reading your Bible, doing all the stuff that you think makes you righteous. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah 46 and 6 that it's like filthy rags to God. Can you imagine that? That our works, that us trying to make ourselves approved to God is as filthy rags. And that's why he is our, get this, he is our righteousness. The Bible says in Jehovah's Sisketu. And we find the word in this amazing passage of scripture in Isaiah, I'm sorry, Jeremiah. Here's my Bible right here. Jeremiah 23, verse 6. Listen to what it says. It says, 
In his days, Judah will be saved and Israel will dwell safely. Now this is his name by which he will be called the Lord, our righteousness, man. Isn't that good? He is our righteous. Hey, Bob, good to see you, buddy. Hope you're enjoying your time down there in Michigan. I don't know if it's raining, snowing or whatever. It's hot here. I mean, hot. Look at that side. It's, it's, I don't know if you can see it, but it's super nice outside. Anyhow, so the Lord, our righteousness, all right? That's really cool. Here's why I say that, because no matter what we try to do, our righteousness, our works, trying to be good people isn't enough for God. The Bible says, as a matter of fact, in Romans 3.10, it says that there are none righteous, no, not one. And what that means, it means that our works don't please God. That's why we need Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 30 powerful verse. I want you to go read that verse. It is a powerful verse. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 30. It says that Jesus Christ has become our righteousness. You see, where we fall short on trying to be righteous, in other words, where we fall short in being approved by God, Jesus was. And so that's why we trust and our hope is in him. Why do I bring that up? Why do I want to use this word today? Because this is why, you know, I've been talking all throughout this week, man, as we've been kind of, um, we're not kind of with the uh, COVID-19 and everybody's down in their homes and, and, and can't get out. And But here's the deal, man, we can have peace. We don't have to worry about the future. We don't have to worry about anything when Jesus Christ is our righteousness. Man. He is righteous when we're not. You might not be perfect. That's okay. None of us are. That's what the Bible says. None of us are righteous, but in Christ, we have been made the righteous. Paul said it like this. Paul said, I have become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. What does that mean? The word righteous again means to be approved by God. And so because of what Jesus Christ did and our trusting in him, we can have peace with God. There's no more wrath. He's not out to get you. He's not out to beat you with an ugly stick. Now, some of y'all got hit by that. I know, right? But he's not trying to do that. Here's the deal. Because of what Jesus did on the cross of Calvary, we no longer have to try to prove ourselves righteous. What we have to do is accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and as our Savior. And that's it. And that's why we can have in the midst of all the storms that are going on in this life, whether it's economic stuff, and I'm going to talk about that tomorrow. You don't want to miss tomorrow. I'm going to talk about another uh, name of God. But this other word, man, this, this Jehovah Sidkenu, Jehovah Sidkenu is Hebrew word for God is our righteousness. And again, it's found in Jeremiah, the book of Jeremiah 23, verse 6. Jeremiah 26, 23, verse 6. You can watch it there. Man, God loves you guys. We can have peace with God because of all this. So no matter what's going on in your life, man, here's the thing. No matter what you've done, no matter how bad it was, God loves you. And God has a plan and a purpose for your life, all right? It doesn't matter what you did. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter how rich you are, how poor you are. How it, It's not based on any of that. The Bible says that Jesus Christ has become our righteousness. Isn't that good news? You don't have to try to earn it anymore. The only thing you have to do is the thing is called have faith. Have faith in Christ. Trust in him. Believe in him. Invite him in your life. Those days, man, where you're not feeling like you don't have that peace, man. You're, you're wondering what's going to happen tomorrow. What's going to happen with this COVID-19? What's going to happen with my job? What's going to happen with my finances? What's going to happen with my family? Believe this and stand on this. God is our righteousness. Remember the first word that we learned in this, right, of this Hebrew name. We talked about uh, El Shema. Right, And what that meant was God is present. He is here in the midst of all this. God didn't wake up this morning, guys, and go, oh, snap, COVID-19 is going on. What do I do? He's got a plan. Trust in him. Rely on him, all right? I love you guys, man. Tell me how. I've got a few people on here, three or four people. Let me know how I can be praying for you before I pray. I'm going to pray and get out of here. Don't forget, set your alarm. Set whatever you need to do. Join us. At 1045 on Sunday morning, we're going to be live streaming from the church um, and got a good word on the book of Ephesians that we've been walking through. I know it's going to bless you. Amen. All right, I'm going to pray. There's no prayer request coming up. So let me go ahead and pray for you. Lord, we pray for you. We thank you for everything that you're doing in our lives. I pray for all of those that are watching, all of those that will be watching later on, and all those that are going to be sharing this, Father. Lord, I pray that right now in Jesus' name that for those who will 
who might be struggling with their identity, struggling with who you created them to be. Maybe they're trying to make their way right with you because of things that they've done in their life or in their past. So Father, I ask you in Jesus' name that they would trust you. You are Jehovah Sidkenu. You're our righteousness. And Father God, we ask that you would show yourself real in our lives, in our hearts, in our families right now in Jesus' name. And Lord God, your word says that no weapon formed against us can prosper. And every word that rises against us in judgment, we shall condemn for this is the inheritance. This is what we inherited because we trust in you. And Lord, I pray for all those that might be watching who don't trust you. And I pray, Lord God, that they would come to a living uh, relationship with you through Jesus Christ that he has become our righteousness, that there's nothing we can do to try to make ourselves right. You already did it by giving us Jesus, the perfect uh, son of God who had never sinned, who never did anything wrong. He took upon his self the punishment of our sins. And Lord God, because of that, we now become righteous. And Lord, we thank you for that sacrifice that Jesus Christ made. Lord, we love you today. I pray for those that are watching, Lord. We pray for this, uh, this COVID-19 to be done with. Um, Lord, I just pray for Bob. Lord, I know that's a difficult time right now. And um, the three-year anniversary of his wife, Lord God, and uh, her passing, Lord. And um, Lord, I pray for peace, um, a peace that surpasses all understanding, would rule and guard his heart right now in Jesus' name. Lord, I ask that you just surround him uh, with the presence of your Holy Spirit. Bob, if you're watching, I want to encourage you, man. The Bible says, because our hope is in Christ, we don't grieve as the world grieves with no hope. We have hope because we're going to get to see our loved ones again. And I pray that over you right now in Jesus' name, that knowing that you're going to see your beautiful bride again right now in Jesus' name. Father, I just pray for comfort right now. Lord, your word says that the Holy Spirit is our comfort. So, Lord, I pray for comfort over Bob right now uh, over there in Michigan. And, uh, God, that you would um, just let him, try, Lord, let him lean in right now in you. Surround him with your peace. Surround him with your strength that he needs to make it through this day, Lord, right now in Jesus' name. Love you, bud. Man, I'm praying for you, Bob. Uh, miss you, man. Miss hanging out with you. Um, you know, it's it's been a long time. I love you guys. God bless you. I'm going to let you guys go. Um, man, share this. Love on somebody. Let me know how I can be praying for you later on. Go ahead and write that down again in the comments. Don't forget to join us on our live stream in, um, on Sunday. I love you guys, man. Um, man, this is going to pass. This is going to pass, man. And it's going to be a great movement of our church, man, the body of Christ, um, because we're going to grow because of this. Love you guys. We'll talk to you later.